everyone, Argami Witch here. Today I'm going to be playing Monster Prom. This is a game that a uh, few people in real life have recommended for me to play. Uh, so I'm going to give it a go. I actually had it on my list to play anyways, but, you know. Awesome voice effects! Oh, Fuck go. yeah! Uh, I'm just one person. Uh, short game, full game. Let's do a full game. That's like, I don't know, three, four episodes. Ah, spooky high school! The sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid, sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. <gasps> oh, she's so cute! I want to be her! Uh, what is your name? Custom name. Uh, I will be... Oops. Bloop. Uh, Argama. <laughs> Argama. <laughs> okay. Pronoun she, he, they. Nah, whatever. I don't care. She. Sweet. Sweet. And we had yet experienced its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left. And as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of the six most charismatic classmates. Miranda, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Oh, I love genocidal characters. Damien, a fearless demon. Why are they like 21? Aren't they? Never mind. A fearless demon with a taste for destruction and love of fire. Eh. <laughs> Scott Howell, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with his stupidly huge heart. Aww. <laughs> Liam, a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. <sighs> I do like me a vampire. Yay! Polly, a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. She's super adorbs. What? And Vera, a mean, self-made gorgon with a merciless sense of business. tough. It was clear it had to be one of them, but who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. Hmm. 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 Eh. I'm gonna say no to her. Uh... I don't know. But as I've already said, we were young and unafraid and we were ready to start. I like to pick who I want to go for as soon as I start dating games where you have to pick someone. I'm kind of leaning a little bit towards the mermaid princess because mermaid and genocidal. But then there's a vampire, but he's a hipster. So that loses points with me because hipsters, they're, I don't like dealing with them. Uh, which is funny because I had like a hipster friend. <laughs> it was so weird. Um, all right, although he's kind of neat, but I don't know. He looks Welcome to monster prom stupidest pop quiz ever all minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways Worry no more. We're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are Monster prom stupidest quap pop quiz ever TM We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats this way, each of you will start by having the stats better reflecting, uh, better to reflect your true selves. Let's start! <laughs> a radioactive possum just bit you. What superpower do you get? Uh, the superpower to always choose the right combination of emojis to get when... To 
get the desired reaction from all people, seducing my loved ones, burning my enemies, settling any argument, and even conveying complex emotional thoughts. Uh, probably rabies. I'd go to the hospital immediately. The incredible power of writing fan fiction so compelling that the actual creator of TV shows decide to go with my ideas and crazy ships. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, if that was the case, then all of the TV shows would be X-rated. <laughs> um, probably rabies. <laughs> Be a visionary. What will be the next big social media craze? Arbor. From now on, a socially awkward guy named Robert will do everything he's commanded to through an app by its user. Ah. It would be a Connor. Uh, bullshit. It's Facebook. Or bull hat and whatever. But each time someone shares news that isn't supported by real facts or taxed, and the money goes to the people... To the people exposed to that bullshit. Uh, Greek agoras. Like literal Greek agoras reinsulated, uh, reinstated in our cities. Place where philosoph uh, philosophy and arts discussed by the greater minds. Social media. Huh. Huh. Mmm. No, I think that's what husbands are for. <laughs> um, this would be nice, but I'm gonna go with this one. Apparently I'm getting so smart. What criteria would you use to name your children? My name plus the second. Just a swear word. A non-heteronormative -hetero name to give them freedom to define themselves on their own terms. Something simple and friendly like Bobby or Mary. Meh, no name. It's just too much work. I will research for a name that is pun-proof, joke-proof. No one will pick on them. Uh, um, uh, that, that one. Okay. I don't know. Let's go. What am I doing? Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Get, what? I have 11 smart- I am the smarty pants. Oh. Uh, hmm. Let's go to... Um... Let's go here. The gym? That day an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuel fuels your team's spirit. Leading to a spectacular comeback, you're clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. Woohoo! You spot Vera and Polly discussing something. You've got to get in on this conversation. It's bound to be something nasty. Hey, 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 hey! What? Are you going to that party tonight? At Dale the Mummy's Crypt? The dog star has aligned with Venus or something, so his parents are being of pure energy for the weekend. He's got the place entirely to himself. I might stop by. Yay! Oh, yay. Okay, listen, Scott's gonna be there, and I totally wanna spike his drink. Now I'm interested. What are you thinking? Laxatives or Viagra? Gross! I was thinking something like shrimps. Shrimps won't even dissolve in his drink, you idiot. You there, back me up on this. What do you think we should do? What do you think we should put in his drink? Yeah, make it something fun. Like, like shrooms. Moonroot, it introduce, uh, it induces werewolf transformations. He'll be a literal party animal. Do you want to make him a laughing stock? Use that flower that makes a person fall in love with the first person, first thing they see. We can make him fall in love with a chair or a houseplant. Uh, Moon Root. Yes. Oh my god, cute! And I totally have a monster Snapchat filter that makes people look like wolves too. So I'll use it on him and he'll be like, a double wolf! Ow! 
yeah, a monster Snapchat pig, and that's totally, uh, and that cool totally justifies unleashing a vicious beast onto unsuspecting party. Uh, woo, you gain plus two fun and plus one bonus. Nin. It's Let's Nin. Go. Uh. Oh. Who the fuck is that? Oh, it's a key cat! And there's a... I don't know, I kinda wanna talk to her. You arrive at your chosen table to find Miranda folding napkins. Folding napkins at Vera? Do you want to know what this one is for, Vera? No. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. The rose-shaped na napkin fold is for birthdays between the ages of 16 and 22. Miranda's hands move fast as lightning, turn the rose into a gorgeous white swan. By contrast, this swan folding is for first weddings, third weddings, and swan giveaways. As a fashion enthusiast, I have never been more bored by a piece of fabric. Oh, and this black swan folding is for weddings where you plan to brutally murder all the guests. Not very popular, the black swan folding. Okay, that's sort of cool, but I'm still aggressively uninterested. You happen to have some napkin folding skills yourself. Maybe you can spice up this interaction. You decide to show off your most impressive napkin fold. If you fold the napkin like so, it creates a self-aware napkin whose sole purpose is to fold more napkins. This writhing snake fold is for the time when you want to leave Vera alone and stop explaining napkin folds. I'm gonna go with this one. I actually know how to fold a, a, a napkin into a um, rubber chicken. Oh, that's adorable! Look at that folding everyone's napkins! It's like a tiny adorable surf. It looks like it's folding the other napkins into more self-folding napkins. I know, it's so efficient! Go little napkin surf! Be free! Aren't you worried this will turn into a self-replicating napkin scenario? Progressing? <laughs> Geometrically, until the world is nothing but napkins? Why, that sounds lovely! God, you're impossible. You seem to have mispronounced impeccable. Whatever, I'm leaving before the napkin, napkin folk take over the world. Barry leaves you alone for a romantic lunch with Miranda. You can't stop hanging, you can't hang out too long, though you've got to stop those napkins before they take over the world. Neat! Let's... Wow. Well, that's pretty cool. It shows you where you can pick up more of... Charm. I want more creativity, maybe. Money. Maybe I could use more money. I don't think creativity is really low. That day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative oral sex. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. Why are there 21 year olds in high school? You gain plus two creativity. Without meaning to, you find yourself in a conversation with Polly and Miranda comparing the apps on your phones. I love her outfit, it's amazing! Oh, what you got, Miri? What you got? Well, I've got this game, Misunderstandings of Mobs. I'm not entirely sure how to play, but I keep winning, so that's nice. I've also got Scepter, which is like Uber, but for surfs instead of cars. Oh, how majestic. And... Spooner? Which is like... Grinder? But for silverware? You know, I like my apps elegant and majestic. That's pretty cool. But do you have rap chat? It turns all your messages into raps, but you can only see them for eight seconds. Wow. What about you, Argama? What fun apps do you have? Yeah, impress us with something rad. Uh, Tiger. An app which makes tiger appear everywhere. There's nothing as majestic as a tiger. Not much. This is one app that turns my phone into a rad car. Hmm. I think that'd be kind of cool. Oh my, my head is swimming with the myriad of uses of such an app. 
Our royal zoo has been tigerless ever since all the tigers drowned in their underwater cages, which was immediately. We have been looking for a way to replenish our supply ever since. You know what I say, it's not a real party until there's a tiger literally everywhere. Is that so? How many real parties have you been to then, Polly? None. Yet. Haha. <laughs> Miranda purchases the app and a bunch of raw meat while ordering new cages for her family zoo. Polly asks her if she can borrow a tiger or two for her next party. What could go wrong? You gain plus two fun and one charm. Neat! Let's go! Let's go. Hmm. Why? What is? Who is she? She's in the bathrooms. Let's go to the bathroom. I don't know who she is. Welcome to my shop. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats. Shit that will lead you into stupid new adventures. Even some shit that might be much needed at some very specific moments. Let's take a look. <laughs> Too poor for this. Regular flavored. Hype station. You want this, you sick pervert? Ah. Um. Are you sure you want that? You should always know, use Wikipedia to get a general idea. A sexy fake Latin accent. Yeah, I'm selling corpse. It's like some kind of fashion accessory. <laughs> Crafting your art requires years of hard work, education, great mentors, and tons of talent. But damn, that sounds exhausting. So let's settle for a motivational poster for now, okay? Uh. It says event. Huh. Badass tattoo. What is this? A blanket with two holes. No, I don't think I want anything right now. Exit. You know, my favorite thing about this world is people who buy stuff be gone. That was a waste. I didn't know. Well, Forgive me. What are you? Um, hmm, I could talk to you. Or I could talk to these two. Let's talk to these two. You find Liam taking pictures of his food and Scott taking pictures of also Liam's food. Oh god, that hat, no. Yes, Scott, snap away. My artistic plating is too magnificent to ignore. Artistic what? I'm playing Pokemon Go on the mobile version of the, of the hit Pocket Humans video game. What do Pocket Men's have to do with my food pick? There's a level 43 Bernard Henson hanging out in the middle of your plate. Here, take a look. Scott, why does your phone show a tiny human doing pottery on top of my eggplant ravioli? You mean you don't know? Bernard Henson. Henson. He used to be a a ch chartered. I these fucking R's are weird. Chartered accountant, but now he's decided to pursue his dream of being world famous Potter. That's a major life change. Has made him very super rare. Pocket humans almost never follow their dreams. Well, I don't care how rare he is. His presence is spoiling my pristine food pick. Spoiling it. But pocket humans are way cooler than boring old food picks. You take that back! Uh, tempers are running a little high. Looks like it's up to you to settle this dispute. Uh, Scott's right, Liam. Why take a normal cliche food pick when you could take a food pick of Scott capturing a Pokemon off your food pick? Hmm. Scott, look over there! There's a Stuart Hot. Hogarth on top of that pile of mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, that one. Sir Hogarth, the strongest accountant type Pokemon in the game? <laughs> what does it even mean to be a strong accountant? Is he, like, really good at math? No, he's just super buff. The buffest accountant. I've got to have him. Scott bounds across the cafeteria and practically dives into Gary Gremlin's mashed potatoes looking for a Pokemon to capture. Do you think he actually knows how to play Pokemans Go, or do you think he's just, like, diving into people's food? <laughs> the 
two of you, the two of you debate the question while you help Liam line up the perfect food pick. Later, he lines up some very hot picks of you. Delightful. Let's go. Um. So if I go where she is, I'm going to get the store again. I don't need that. Uh, I guess we'll go here because I could use money. That day you spent some time in the library's PC managing your start kicker. You decide lots of people with the sentence. Oh, you deceive lots of people with the sensationist video and impossible promises. Nice. You gain plus 100,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover costs and you only keep about two monies. I'm sad. You're fucking around on your cell phone when you see a couple of your classmates fucking around on their cell phones too, but louder, more aggravation. Jesus! Paulina, this is an institute of learning institution of learning, and I am finding it increasingly difficult to concentrate with you making tigers appear everywhere constantly. They'll soon overrun the school. I thought Miranda had that night. Uh, I find it simply abhorrent the amount of money you're funneling into your into tiger. When an app advertises itself as free, but then gets you addicted and causes you to end up paying more and more money. Minus 99 money is at the time. That's just awesome. Exploitative of all the weak-willed. And I love exploiting the weak-willed, but I'd prefer when you do it with me. So what's so special about Tiger anyways? You're just blowing all your money on a rather than investing in our schemes? Um, where do I even begin? The premium features are dope. You can design the stripes on your Tiger, pick custom colors, pick whisker size and strength. You can find out whether or not the tiger has super liked your profile and what pictures it's favorited. Don't get me wrong, it's not just that I necessarily want to date a literal actual tiger. I just want to know if the literal actual tiger want to date me as they should. You must realize how insane that sounds. I mean, hearing it out loud, it did really sound pretty whack, I guess. Plus, if the tigers get hungry and start eating people, and honestly, it's shocking they haven't done that already, we won't have anyone to rip off. Right, because the tigers are ripping off their arms and legs. Good point. I'll just delete the app and get rid of the tigers. There, deleted. And yet, there, tigers here, tigers everywhere. Tigers! Huh. I wonder why that didn't work. Maybe because getting rid of a downloadable content on a phone in no way destroys living flesh and blood beings in the real world. But you know what might actually work? For every tiger in the school released three anteaters, the natural enemy of tigers is... No. Have Coach talk to them. He's a tiger, right? Or like a tiger adjacent something. Release three anteaters, the natural enemy of tigers, as everyone knows. That seems ridiculous. Excellent idea, although there are many areas in which I would not trust the opinion of a mere athlete. Communication with their own is one to which even I must happily defer. Yeah, what he said. Coach! You look so friendly. Look at that big old mustache. Oh. You rang, my wonderful, eager-eyed educates. Um, yeah, someone we have no idea who, just someone made a whole fucked on language, Paulina. Sorry, coach, she means there's an abundance of tigers roaming around the school. Tigers? Here? Oh no, oh no! After all these years, they finally found me! <laughs> Dude, I don't know what you're on about, but tigers didn't find you. I summoned them using the app Tiger. When I was a young cub, I was a tiger, just a regular tiger, living in the jungles of Miami, when I stumbled upon the most magical sight I've ever seen. I don't know if we want to know this, sometimes it's weird to know too much about your teachers. It was a group of young monsters, punching a round circle back and forth, 
over a net of sorts. I was informed that it was beach volleyball. It's strictly forbidden to tigers. I had two options. Forget I had ever seen such magnificence and return to my life as an ordinary tiger, or forego the life of a savage jungle cat to become a high school PE coach. Obviously, I chose to follow my heart. But, but the tiger integrity anti-sport mafia has been on my literal tail ever since. Where is he? Comes a roar from somewhere down the hall. Where is that volleyball playing traitor? Here they come! The coach runs down the hall, dives into the maintenance closet, and slams the door shut behind him. Dude, I hate PE as much as the next person, but trying to get our anthropomorphized tiger coach eaten by a pack of actual tigers? Not cool. It does like certain finesse as far as murder plots go. And oh yeah, we did nothing to get rid of the tigers, which was the point. You want to explain that it wasn't a murder plot at all? And how could you possibly have known that wild tigers hate beach volleyball? Or that the coach is a fan of beach volleyball? Actually, aww. You probably should have guessed that one. You lose. Minus two smarts and minus one boldness. Aww. Ah, uh, sad. Week three! Let's go! Let's go! Actually, uh, I think I'm gonna leave this episode right here! This is a really fun game. It's really stupid. Uh, might have to edit some of that audio, though. <laughs> There's a lot of swearing. Oh, I don't really mind swearing. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, anyways, if you're enjoying this series or you want to see more from me, then please subscribe and do all that YouTube shit. And in the next episode, we're going to do something. Wander around. Pick another class. Maybe get our smarts back because we lost them because we're dumb dumbs. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you then. There's a spider on me. Get off, little dude. No, little dude.